another day. Last circle of irrigated soybeans to plant um, for the moment until we get the wheat cut. We got some, we're going to double crop under that one circle that's got wheat. But <clears throat> if we don't have any trouble today, we should get done. Um, but we've had trouble. It's funny. A little bit of trouble every day. Not a lot, but a little bit. And so it's a Friday. I got the whole day, day off today, which is which is beautiful to just come out and farm. And when Ethan is off on Friday as well, it makes it a little simpler because I, I kind of just keep him going so and do some odd stuff. So come along. Well, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to turn the circle on to water the wheat again and again. You normally don't have to water wheat that much this time of year. It's normally pretty wet in April and May, but not this year. So we're going to go turn what we call the rota phase on that sends the electricity out to the pivot and then we'll get it moving. Here we are at the pump. Good to go. Fuel on. Fuel is on. Let's fire it up. Let's push the water on. Circles are running. We just got to send the pivot tower. We got a pretty bad leak there. Huh. Have to tighten that up. Again, water and beans are just crazy. I've never ran a circle so much, so much irrigation before we have crops out of the ground. It's insane. Watering. Now this circle's been giving us some trouble. There's gearboxes and it's had a little bit of a gearbox problem, but uh, it likes to go one direction, but it won't go the other, but we'll get it fixed here in the next couple weeks, but we'll see how far it'll go. Well, just uh, stopped into the John Deere dealership, got some parts, um, just some random stuff, but now heading back, gonna go check on Ethan. Should get that field done today. Um, fired up another circle, I'll check it, an ear, or a pivot on the way back, um, watering up the soybeans on another field uh, that we were playing a couple days ago, but man, it's clouding up. It almost acts like it could rain, but it is not gonna. It's just not gonna. I'm, I'm just giving up on it. I don't think it's gonna rain. That's that's just over for a while. So, um, yep. Well, Ethan is out there finishing up this field. As you can see him, he's maybe on his last round.
he's on his last round. I've got the old man job. I've kind of had that all afternoon. You can see I've got the seed tender behind me. And I'm just here in case he runs out because it's quite a ways. This field is one of our um, farther fields. It's it's probably about oh, five or six miles. We don't farm very far away from our house, but it's one of the ones that does take a little time to get so we didn't want to run out. Um, but um, he's finishing up and I got the old man job sitting in the truck waiting to see if he's got enough. We are watering this circle and uh, this, this pivot is running still. And actually remember I told you it had a problem. I don't know, sometimes they fix themselves and that's what's happened happened here. But let's go, uh, let's dig up some beans. I thought I'd dig some up just to show you. Soybeans in the ground, they're actually easier to find. And so Ethan's been doing a really good job. And uh, we'll get out here in the field a little bit and dig some up. And I'll show you the soybean in the ground. And so, as I said, we're dropping about 170,000 seeds per acre. And so, when you're dropping 170, you go through a lot of seed, and I'll show you the soybean. So, see, it's going into moisture. There is, see the soybean right there? Soybean is right there. That's moist ground. But we're going to put a half inch of water on it, even though it's going into moist ground so I, that'll that'll wrap up our uh, irrigated soybeans we do have a circle of irrigated beans after we cut the we, we call that double crop so you get the crop of wheat and then you plant soybeans after that uh, but what a great day getting done early it's only you know, about five o'clock on friday I have to go home watch a movie or something enjoy the day hope you enjoyed uh, your friday and uh we'll probably do a few things tomorrow don't know if they'll be video worthy or that entertaining i don't know if any of this is entertaining but a lot of you are watching the videos <laughs> it's like there's 1200 views on this last video and some of the shorts so thank you for taking such interest and what we do on our family farm, it really is who we are. And it is just so much fun uh, to be out here. And as you can see, Ethan is on his way in. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. I'll zoom in out there. He is, he is done, done, done. And we're gonna go home, home, home. He's done, done, done. And we're gonna go home, home, home. So I hope you all have a great day. Like, share, subscribe. That's what people say after they do YouTube videos. So I'm just going to keep doing it. People are doing that. So over 150 subscribers. That's crazy. So anyway, so hope you have a great day. We'll catch you on the next one.